And here we are for the first game, the fifth and final match. Play first. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I want to try this hand. In general, I would say that this isn't a key, but my oh, yeah, this seems like an interesting hand. So you want to keep it. Yeah, even though it's it's not a keep since I basically do nothing in turn one. But I have top cast and I have cranial playing, I have a lot of mana and I have an enforcer. Spring leaf drum, okay well let's play a land. Let's play Mox Opal. Let's play a cranial plating. Let's draw some cards. And now I could play... Yeah, I don't think I need to play any here. This hand is turning out a slow, but otherwise a fine hand. Though I guess in Legacy you really don't want a slow hand. Stoneforce Mystic, okay. Next turn I can play Master of Ethereum plus maybe. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I should be playing, able to play everything. Eight, And I don't think I need to play Spring Leaf Drum yet. I think I'm gonna just equip on Lamb Knight. To make all of my guys back. Yeah, so next turn I basically attack with everything and then just move my cranial plating on to make sure it gets true. And assuming both if cranial plating and master of adherent get through, uh, it's 20 damage. So, so if he has like better skull, then uh, he can block Memonite and survive. And I don't know the list he's playing since he's playing so many different colors. He might be playing like some form of Team Italia, I think was the deck that played like black, red, white. Basically my turn, play Splur see what I draw and then play Springleaf Drum and attack with everything. Okay, so play Springleaf Drum. And attack with everything. So he would need something like Soul Supply or some Master of Ethereum here. On, or Upper Decay on Cranial Blading. Okay, Upper Decay. Yep, can't do anything about that. And if he has like Soul Supply or Master of Ethereum, then I don't think I can win. Well, if he's thinking this much, he, he really doesn't have source to closer. And basically, I have enough mana to cast anything I might draw from my deck. So, drawing a Tesseret would be really good. So let's see. What's 
what costs four mana and helps him here? Well, double Thermogoy, well, yes. Double Thermogoy does help you. Action. So you can trade Master of Ethereum for a Thermogoyf and get two for seven damage. I don't think I want to do that. Okay, now things are looking bad. Double Thermogoyf does work. So, action. A top cast would be a good draw. Uh, desert would be nice. Cranial blading. A lot of good cards in my deck that I could draw here. That's, that's GD. That's our shaman. Equip today. If he attacks, I block. Very unfortunate. Yeah, I'm gonna just play it. And still don't want to trade Master of Ethereum for one turn okay? So if he finds an Emperor TK, then I'm in trouble. So this must be like John with Stone First Mystic. Or is this or is, is red the splash color? Really this the in the main deck, okay. My land just to make Master of Ethereum larger. At least he's out of cards and let's hope term let's hope Dark Confident kills him. Maybe he reveals a Emmer cool. Yeah, I don't think he wanna remove anything with Death Rat Shaman. That takes one damage from Death Rat Shaman, okay. Amber decay. Two black. Something like him I would be fine with since I don't care about my mox opals. And I could draw a card from this. Well, he has one card in hand which I know. Which is the death rush chain. Oh yeah, he's thinking about moving Chite. Yeah, that's what he's doing. If he moves Chite and attacks, then yes, I'm going to block it. Even if he gets to Chite Hunters and then either gain life or just uh, kill. Maybe not. Yeah, but yeah, at this point, I need to draw that's right. Okay, equips new death rush shaman. Frog might. Like now I could attack, but now he has a lot of jump blockers, so attacking with Master of Ethereum does nothing. He gets bad lands. Or maybe I should have chill. Yeah, if I had attacked, he would have just blocked with Death Rush Shaman. Ne equip, next turn, equip Thermogoyf, attack both Thermogoyfs. 
it would have just turned bad for me. A Delph card, okay. And if this is does he go, then I'm in trouble since now he gets Ember Decay back. So basically I need to get this right now. Okay, there's this. Yeah, he gets to draw a car. I'm gonna plus one desert basically forcing him to attack me. Next turn, since next turn I'm gonna minus four. An edge champion or an orange drop turn. I'm gonna take an edged champion. And here, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. No, actually, yeah, I can do like this. Here, I don't want to play Mox Obos just to give him a card, let him throw cards. So here, yeah, I'm going to stay back with my Desert. Since minus four from Desert should kill him. So let's see who's Tassigur here. Excellent plus thing, my thermocoids are a little bit smaller. Gains two life. Then uses Tassigur. Hmm. Why don't you take death right here? You can have a death right here. Not any of those ever. Also, Thermogoyles are much smaller now. And he gets blood for off. So this is like a chant list with Stone Force Mystic. Death right here. Cascade into Dark Confidant. And then another Dead Rage, Blood Red Elf. Cascading in with him. He casts him, so I get to draw a card and then I lose two cards. Okay. So he can, if he can attack with everything, the sword will die. So let's see how I'm going to play. But yeah, this is a little bit of a strange card to have. Well, maybe it's maybe he's testing it. Maybe it's good. Since it's not like his entire deck is uh, creatures, he also has non-creature spells. Okay. Um, I, I paused until my opponent decided what he wants to attack with. How about it seems I should have stayed paused a little bit longer. And my, my opponent decided what he wants to attack with. So here... So let's see. If I want... Just so it stays alive if I block like this. And I lose nothing. 
Unless I'm missing. Oh yeah, he might have a card in hand. So let's block slightly different than these, 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 these. And you want to block like this. Even if he has. No, there's not enough. There's no lands in that curve. Yeah, so Desert takes one. And he gets a couple of Chide Hunters, which he can use to kill this guy. Or one of these. So I'm gonna block like this. He kills the Frogmite. So on my turn, draw a card, plus one. Let's see. I attack with everything. And I, I make a guy, I attack with everything. He has one, two, three, four. So he would only take two damage. But he would lose everything. I think it's supposed to bring the plus one, hope to hit a cranial blading and win. Edge, or hit an edge champion. I think this is better since I don't think he has trouble dealing with edge, edged champion and I can... Now Desiree is really close to killing him again. And here, if I like for Master of the Term, he just blocks. I'm gonna attack with that guy and... Or, yeah, I don't wanna attack with everything, anything else. He goes to four life. Let's see if he wants to up gain life and upkeep with. Okay, so. And got swamp. He can use the secor, but what's five mana? Better skull, okay. I don't think better skull does anything here. Since he needs to deal with lesser at this turn. Yeah, this does nothing. Yeah, I can block like this. He can gain a lot of life, but he still dies to desert. Yeah, he is killing one of the etched champion, but again. Lose a lot of life. So chance, chance, chance. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try these rest pieces. I'm gonna try something like this. Rest in peace, perish. And I'll see you in the next game.